Hey there everyone, welcome to Gray Mains Bricks. My name is Gray. You know, they say sometimes quality is better than quantity and it seems like this might be the case with the new Lego Harry Potter sets that are coming out in September. We have three sets and oh boy are they quality. I tell you what, I can't wait to show you the last one. But let's start with the advent calendar. We've already shown this in the advent calendars video that I put out a few days ago, but we're going to show it again in the Harry Potter video as well, just in case the people didn't see the uh, the advent calendar. So this is set number 76418. Let's have a look at the back of the box. There's a picturesque little winter scene on the back of the box. Could be in Hogsmeade, could be some small hamlet or town inside of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. A few toys are shown. We've got a snowman. There's a wagon that's floating, a Christmas tree, uh, a light post, and and Harry Potter minifigure in a hoodie. There's Ron Weasley, it looks like, in his winter sweater. And the first time that we've ever seen the Aberforth Dumbledore minifigure is in this set. Included in the contents of this advent calendar, we have six minifigures. Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, Draco Malfoy, Madame Rose Murda, who is the bartender at the Three Broomsticks. And as mentioned earlier... Aberforth Dumbledore and it is a first time that we have seen him in any set for Harry Potter. There's also models that include toys from the Three Broomsticks, Zonko's, the Hogshead Inn, and Honey Duke's Candy Shop. So we have all those wonderful toys and six nice wonderful minifigures to boot. The Lego Harry Potter Advent Calendar set number 76418 Contains 227 pieces and is priced at $44.99. Next up, we have the Hogwarts Castle and Grounds, set number 76419. The back of the box gives us a view of the backside of Hogwarts Castle and Grounds. A few hidden compartments and secret areas that are underneath the castle itself. The inset pictures, we have the schematic of the castle. We have a picture of the actual castle itself in which the model was based on. And a few other secret areas that we will talk about in a few moments. And here we see the model assembled in all of its glory. It looks really cool. Look at those rocks. They look absolutely dangerous. That Sturmstrong ship is coming in on Black Lake, and it just looks like it could hit those rocks at any moment. We have the, uh, the minifigure statue and the cart that is being pulled, the carriage that is being pululled in the air by the, what are they, the Pegasus-like horses uh, that are flying above the castle. Taking a closer look at Hogwarts Castle and Grounds, the Whomping Willow is in the front left of the screen with the car caught in its branches. Right below it, to the right, is the chess set and a few other compartments. This is really neat looking. I like how compact it is, yet it has a lot of detail. The top-down view of this set gives us a quick look at the complexity of the actual set and all the pieces combined together to bring us Hogwarts Castle and all the wonders that it contains. And here for your viewing pleasure is the Chamber of Secrets. Here's a close-up of the statue minifigure that is included with this castle set. And finally, we have what looks to be the potions classroom. All the potions and jars and mixtures lining the walls. A couple of tables and a seat for your minifigures. The Hogwarts Castle and Ground Set number 76419 contains 2,660 pieces. It is priced at $169.99. And last but not least, we have this amazing set, Gringotts Wizarding Bank Collector's Edition, set number 76417. The back of the box gives us a really nice view of the backside of Gringotts, the bank, the vaults, the Ukrainian Iron Belly Dragon, all the minifigs that are included, and also a picture of this set when it is joined with the Diagon Alley set. Gringotts contains all of these fantastic minifigs that look like they fit in this set 
perfectly. Hagrid riding the mining cart with Harry going down to the vault, the Ukrainian Iron Belly just waiting for them to arrive, the goblins, the security guards, Bellatrix looks strange, um, just really nice looking, active looking set. And it should be well noted that you do not have to keep the Ukrainian Iron Belly Dragon underground. You could perch him on top of the bank, which is just a great display feature. Although it looks a little top heavy, but I guess it's well supported. Taking a look at the back of the set, tell me this set doesn't look fun and engaging. It's got so many things you can do, so many places you can go. It is just one of the best Harry Potter pieces I have seen in a long time. I cannot wait to get this set. Riding the cart down to open up the vault, you'll find a couple of goblins down here just waiting for you with the treasures in hand. It looks like the goblins are working hard in the bank in this photo. One has a coin in his hand. Harry's coming up to try to get access to his vault and these three goblins are just waiting for him. Speaking of coins in the goblins' hands, here's a close-up view of what the design on the coins look like. Gringotts Bank contains 13 minifigures, two Harry Potters, a Ron Weasley, a Bellatrix Lestrange slash Hermione, Hagrid, a Death Eater, Bogrod, Griphook, Rickbert, two Goblins, and two Guards. Gringotts Wizarding Bank Collector's Edition set number 76417 contains 4,803 pieces and will be priced at $429.99. It will be available for VIP members only on September 1st. Otherwise, you can pick it up on September 4th if you are a non-VIP. The other two sets that we looked at in this video will be available on September 1st for everyone. I hope you enjoyed this look at the Harry Potter sets that are coming out in September and please put a little Lego in your life and remember to bring on the bricks.